Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I kind of took some time off because I got a calf injury, uh, pretty minor, but still recovering. Um, I got, got it from running a half marathon without training enough. So this is my first time back playing in a bit, but I feel okay for now. And so today we have Karoo from My Tennis HQ and Gus. So Gus came with Karoo today and you are his student? Yeah. Basically, he's the guy that is always hitting with me on videos. If you yeah. guys notice, that, that's always him. Uh, it, it, does, it doesn't say a lot in the videos, but he, yeah. he's been doing a great yeah. job uh, with the hitting. So today, yeah. let's see uh, see if he can take Winston yeah. down. Gus, what's your background? Are you in high school? What's yeah, your UTR I'm a and all senior that? in high school, and I'm a 10 UTR. Okay. Where are you going to school? I'm going to Redlands okay. University. Okay. That's cool. D3? Yeah, D3. Yeah, close to here, too. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, 10 UTR, closer to 8. Decent gap, um, but I'm gonna have some support from my buddy crew today. He'll jump in here and there with yeah. supports me. We'll make it fun. We're also gonna do a little. Once Gus is out of here, we're gonna yeah. do a little scouting. I'm yeah. gonna give him strategy. some of the, some of the strategy here, just things to for him to keep an eye on. Yep. Uh, to make it a little harder on this guy. Yep. So always, guys, if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. I want to reach 50k by the end of the year, and crew is chasing 100. 100. We got five more. Go subscribe to my channel too if you have the chance. <laughs> yep. Can you go over just the model of using string and tension? I use the V Corp Pro 97 and I use 53 tension with like Luxalon, Alu Power. Okay. Uh, and Karu? Just simple. So you already did it. Yeah. So uh, string mine is model. Big new, the new V Corp 95, uh, the 2023 version with uh, Techni Fiber String. I don't even know the name. <laughs> uh, at around 58, 60 pounds, depends on okay. the, the stringer. Yeah. Okay. And I'm using the Bablot Aero 98, 98 square inch with Solinko Hyper G. All right, crew, you said you have some advice for me against Gus? Yeah, I just want to give you a couple things to watch out for. Obviously, you know, tactically, you don't have to worry too much about it, but, uh, you know, he definitely prefers the forehand. Um, okay. His favorite shot is always going to be when he runs around the back and gets a forehand, he loves the inside in. He it's likes good. to go to your right. forehand. That's his favorite shot. That's his money shot. He loves it. Uh, so always keep an eye out for that. So if his back end is weaker, but if you don't play well to the back end, yeah. he's going to run around. He's going to okay. take over with the forehand. Okay. So obviously always a good strategy is trying to open up the forehand to then have like a big target to the back okay. and make him hit a lot of back. Hit cross court. Yes. That way he, then doesn't, he doesn't yeah. love like staying on that cross court okay. rally with the okay. back. And he might go down the line. Okay. He's going to want to make make you go to your forehand a lot yeah. more than to your back because he doesn't want to stay. So yeah. pressing the back in a little yeah. bit, trying to make sure that's yeah. happening. He has a good serve, so you got to watch out for that. Yeah. Um, but overall, that's that's his pattern that you want to take away. Okay. Like that's that's what you want to take away and be, keep an eye. So if I see him running around, maybe anticipate the inside in. Yeah, cheat over a little yeah. bit. Cheat. Like if obviously if he starts burning into the other yeah. side, you, you yeah. got to make an adjustment, yeah. but you want to take away that favorite yeah. shot. Okay. Yep. Relax, breathe in, breathe in as you're about to hit the serve. Don't worry too much about your technical stuff. You've got to swing out though. Should I go first or second? Go first, go whatever you're feeling. 
And then a, a kick to the back and it's a good play, regardless. It's like you're still making the mistakes, you know, by being tense. So you gotta like again go back to your inputs. Don't worry about making. Worry about hitting the ball with quality. Stay through both sides, both sides, not just the back end. But win, win this game, then I'll come back in. That's a good motion though.
There you go. Did you play a point without like trying to make the ball? Right? Play the yeah, point. I'm trying to let go. Cause... Try and swing at the ball. At least you had some quality. So you added some pressure because you had quality. Should I save the break point? Wait for you. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Oh, so good. There you go. Don't try to make it. Just root it. The more you try to make it, the less it works. Feet are so stuck. You're on your toes. On your toes. The more, the most you can stay on your toes. Pay for you. I mean, we're gonna pay for that. Giving that much court, yeah. running around, giving that much court. It's tough. You gotta hit a really good ball. Can do lean in, lean in, hit that back, and remember left, right, hit. A lot of arms, just arms on that one. The goods on break point. Didn't call that one out. Not on camera, you can't. Not on camera. Come on. Let's go. We'll survive. We're in this.
Alright guys, kind of a rough set, even with crew's help. But <laughs> I, I feel like after taking some um, days off for a couple weeks, I came out a little slow, a little sluggish. Uh, feet were heavy, um, balls were coming faster than I could react to. So, from your observation um, as a coach, you were saying that I was just not moving well, not confident in swing, not swinging yeah, out. Definitely not swinging out, but I think you know it goes back to our first lesson on my channel where we, yeah. we kind of worked on this, not just the split step, but like. Winston has a bit of a tendency of like landing on that split and just kind of like being heavy on the ground where you want to feel like you're a bit more in motion, right? Even when you land on the split, you're you're still almost like hopping around. Um, and today it just felt like you were so heavy on your yeah. feet. So combine that with like not being playing for a little while, not feeling like maybe so good about the strokes, um, everything becomes tentative, right? There's no yeah. swinging out. There's you can yeah. tell there was an aggression with the legs, right? Like yeah. pushing and trying to hit the shots. Um, and it's part of like I think what a lot of amateurs deal with um, because you're not on court as much yeah. um, But really it, it starts from the ground up. I think the moment you're moving a bit better You start swinging out a little yeah. bit more everything frees yeah. up um, And obviously you can start playing yeah. some good ball too. So. Credit to Gus. So big yeah. shots even against Guru. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, he, he's yeah. my practice partner like Kevin. <laughs> whenever I need to hit this is the guy I call so yeah. uh, he's playing some good ball. Yeah. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. I will try to find some more four or five level players to play against um, just for a little closer competitions coming up. So if you like this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and make sure to subscribe to My Tennis HQ. And thanks, Gus, for coming out today. Thank you, guys. Yeah.